Hello there and welcome to another video from Change Tips and Tools and today we're going to stick with charts and I'm going to show you a very quick example on how to create a pyramid chart. So I've got my products here and I've got my sales. So first thing uh, for my pyramid chart is I'm going to sort my sales here by value. So I'm going to select the data range. I'm going to do data. I'm going to select this sort here. I'm going to sort it by sales. I'm going to do largest to smallest, like so. So I've sorted the order. And I'm going to reselect the data and do insert. And then on the chart, I'm going to do a 3D stacked column chart. I'm going to select that. Let's just move it to here where we can see it. Uh, I don't need the axes, I don't need the chart title, and I don't want the grid lines. So let's just make that a little bit bigger. So first thing I'm going to do is with the chart selected, I'm going to select switch row on the chart design to column, like so. I'm then going to uh, select any one of these data series here, click by clicking on it and do control one. And then here, on the series options, I'm going to change it to a full pyramid here. I'm going to change the gap depth to 50%. And I'm going to change the gap width to 20%, like so. I'm then going to select the chart, the whole chart, by clicking on the border here. And I'm going to select the... Uh, effects here and go to 3d rotation and i'm going to change the x rotation to zero and i'm going to change the y rotation to zero and there we have our pyramid chart i'm then going to go here on the colors change the colors with the whole thing and let's just go with that so i've got that there let's make this a little bit wider then i'm going to select the bottom one i'm going to go to the fill let's go border let's make that uh, a solid line let's make it white i'm then going to go to the plus sign here and i'm going to do myself a data label i'm going to select that label i'm going to go to the home ribbon make it bold i'm going to make it larger for that one, I'm going to make the font white so it sticks out. And then with that still selected, I'm going to select the uh, label options here. Do label options. And I'm just going to have the series name there as well. So you can see that's widget three. And then I'm going to select the next bar here. And again, I'm going to go to the fill. I'm going to go uh, on the border, a solid line. Let's make that white again. I'm then going to do an add a label like so again select the label i'm going to make that bold let's make it the font 14 uh, and with that still selected i'm going to go to my label options and just add the series name so it sticks out and let's make that this is what that looks like white that's fine i'm going to take this one let's do the same thing so the fill lines keep that white uh, and then let's add a data label select that data label make it bold let's make that 14 in the label option just add the series name let's take the next one do the same thing as far as the borders concerned so solid line Add the data label. I can just make this bold. Let's make that 14. Let's add series name. That's fine. Let's take this one here again on the fill. Solid line. Let's add the data label. Let's select that data label. Let's make it bold. Let's make that 14. Add the series name and because this is slightly bigger let's just drag this to the left 
and you'll see it's got this line connecting it and that's what the show leader lines does for us and then select the top one select the top segment and again solid line add a data label select that data label let's make that bold 14 font add the series name and again let's just move that to the right there you go there is a pyramid chart i hope you found that helpful and if you'd like more ideas on charts then please let me know in the comments and please hit that like subscribe and smash that notification button for future content and as always i wish you a wonderful day wherever you are in the world please take care and i look forward to seeing you in the next video from change tips and tools bye bye now